So I've finished Astrobot. I'm almost about to platinum it. I have four more trophies to get. And overall, I think this is my favorite game of the year. Um, really? I am still just blown away by the amount of fun. I never feel pissed at it. Like even when the levels get really, really challenging, they do these challenge levels in every single area. And I mean, sometimes they are hard and they'll take me about like 30, 40 minutes to beat because you only get one life through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And, but it's just that dedication. I have to save that bot. Like I just got a Chris Redfield the other day oh, and it cool. was so cool. I love this game. Me and my wife can play like for three, four hours at a time and just like time just flies by. It's so simple, but so joyful. And it just takes me back to my childhood when you would like pop Jack and Daxter in for the first time, the very first one. And you'd go around looking for all the orbs and things mm -hmm. like that. Just like the simplicity of that and the level design. Or even if you're jumping into Crash Bandicoot or Spyro or a Ratchet and Clank. Like, and I'm not talking about the later installments. I'm talking about the first one for all of those. Yeah. It's a great love letter to each and every one of those games that... I don't think we get enough of nowadays. Banjo and Kazooie is another one. I just, there's something special to Astro Bot that on the surface is in a way, yes, like marketing for all of PlayStation's history, but in a way it's a love letter to PlayStation's history. It's a love letter to their, to all their IP for the most part. Um, there's some bots that are missing that are like weird misses. Like there's no sweet tooth and that, that's a little bit weird, but someone found him in the data file. So I assume he'll be the DLC bots cause they've said that they're doing DLC levels. Oh, that's cool. um, there's no resistance, which is a little weird to me, but there's like kill zone and oh. like, it's cool to see kill zone represented. It's cool to see medieval represented resident evil represented even katamari remember katamari the ball pushing thing mm -hmm. that's represented the game you can get a bot that pushes around a ball um and the coolest thing about this is every time you finish one of these areas it takes you to the last world is always one of the main video games so the first area is ape escape the second one was god of war where you get his leviathan axe and, you get, cool. and then uh ape escape you get the the net to mm -hmm. catch monkeys the third one's uncharted Oh, and you get his gun and it feels like an uncharted level and it's so joyful. I, we played through that level twice because of how fun it was and it's always feels rewarding to get to the end of these and there's, there's other levels and I'll leave them at that, but I can't imagine like this game is again, so simple, but I love it so much and I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Oh, I have no issues with it after beating it. Um, I'm going back and forth if this or Final Fantasy is my favorite game of the year so far, mm -hmm. but I think this might take the cake. I think this might take the cake, and it's it's just it's fucking amazing, man. It's amazing. I can't recommend this game enough. You know what? Um, now that you mention, there's one word that really stuck out to me is simplicity. Mm -hmm. And as we're kind of talking about these other two games too, I think that's kind of the main topic of this. It's simplicity. And it's kind of crazy because now we've grown up with these IPs forever, right? Yeah. The, I feel like it would be... Um, it would be too critiqued if like games really do take that step back and go back to literally the first, like, like you said, Jack and Daxter, yeah. where they didn't even have guns and no. it was just a straight platformer. Right. Mm -hmm. Like it's crazy that we will never see like such simple things unless it's exactly. from a new IP. Yeah. And even now again, like new IPs these days, they more try to t grab on to like either a trending gameplay mechanic or a gameplay loop life service or they shooters, yep. grab something that is niche and slightly unique yep but it will kind of die out yeah so it's it's interesting to hear about this word simplicity in a way because it's like we don't really get that anymore with games no not, not at all games are like and i think that's why i like astrobot so much is because i can pop it in i can play it and i barely have to I have to think, obviously, but you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I don't have to pay attention to some world-breaking story, which, don't get me wrong, story games are always going to be my yeah. bread and butter. That's my favorite thing to always entertain, but it was so... It's fun. Like, yeah. honestly, and if you ask me my one issue, I wish it was co-op. That's the 
only thing I think that was lacking in the game is not having co-op or some sort of co-op mode. Like me and my mm. wife would just switch off playing each level, but I, I think a co-op, like if they were to do a sequel, which I would be pretty surprised if they didn't, like the, mm. you can't find this game physically at any store. Like, I don't know if that's just because they weren't prepared for all the love it was going to get. It's getting a bunch of great reviews. Like this feels for me, the game that you would probably launch with your PlayStation six, like one of the few games, like yeah. they tried doing it with knack and Knack was simple, but tried to do the story thing too. But and I've played both Knack games. They're fine. They were whatever, but they're not memorable. To think about it, I don't think Knack has represented an Astrobot. I don't think it is. <laughs> I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But um, but yeah, like for me, like every level was endlessly joyful. And one more thing to shout out: the music. The music is so good. Sometimes I just sit there. And I would just listen to it. Do you, uh, I'm, I'm hope, or like I'm guessing that when you go to the, each of these worlds where it's like different games and everything, do they like do yeah. their own kind of Uncharted? You get Uncharted's music, God of War, you get God of War's music in there. That's cool. But it's synced with Astrobot's theme. So gotcha. every level has basically the same theme, but in a different variety. Gotcha. Which is one of my favorite things for the game. So, I loved it. I genuinely, I play all the Nintendo platformers. This is the best platformer of this generation. That's of good. the eh, of this decade of gaming right now. Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, uh, Xbox Series X. This is the best platformer. Mm-hmm. I always give them a shot. I really liked Super Mario Odyssey. I liked a couple of the other Mario games like Super Mario Wonder. Super Mario Odyssey was cool and I liked it, but Astro Bot had just something different. And again, it was that simple that mm-hmm. simplicity that won me back over and it reminds me of Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs>